Songo. My name is Jake Tiger. I am with the Dissemination of Oklahoma Historic Preservation. I'm the cultural technician, and today we'll be learning how to make southeastern moccasins. And what the uh, materials you will need will be the leather, you will need a pair of scissors, and all chalk and a lace. So before we get started, here's the patterns that uh, your moccasins are going to come out as. And for your lace, these are distinctive seminal characteristics with the triangle with the sawtooth and the round with the sawtooth, or you can leave it plain and decide into a knot, into a straight edge. And so now we're going to use my assistant's foot for the pattern. So this is we're going to use our, use our chalk at this point. So here, for the pattern, we'll use two fingers on the front. You can use a pencil as well, just don't put it too dark, it's hard to get out. You'll have one finger in the back, and this is where we'll have our lace come in. So have your foot up a little bit. So here, you're going to have that point at the top of the foot, right about there. And this is how you're going to get your width for your moccasin. From that, from that point to this point is where you'll make your mark. And here as well. I'll take this back. And then you fill in the spots. And here as well. And see, so here is the tricky part of the. So you'll come out this way. Usually I'll keep it about maybe I said about four four finger wisps. Get a nice flap going. And then you'll reconnect it with the mark in the back. Thank you, David. And then you'll make a mark down here as well. All right, so now what I've done, I've cut out the pattern. And now what I'm going to show you how is to make your markings. Where are you going to put your all punches at? And for the sake of this video, I'm using a pen. I don't prefer using a pen. But for better visuals, we're going to use a pen for now. So you can start here. This could be your beginning point right here in the dead center. So we're going to do your other markings that you're going to do one index finger with away, like so. Do one right there. And then you'll repeat this pattern until you get to right about there. And then one right there. And so our other markings will be at is your back stitching. And the same as the last in the dead center. And then so you're going to stop right there where it's lined up with that guy. And you'll repeat the same process on this side as well. All right, so now what we have done, now that we have the whole pattern drawn out, we actually have to use a scratch all. Please be very careful with this. They are very sharp. Bet a dollar for every time I poke myself with these, I'd be a millionaire. You're just gonna get it through there, you're gonna get a pretty big hole. Just like that. Hold it on both sides, that way you don't poke yourself. And just go right through there. Alright, so now so now we are at the part of the uh, stitching. And so a lot of these you're probably gonna have to do. Reopen the hole with your awl. Just put this little bit of elbow grease in there, pull it through. It's going to be pretty tough getting it through there. Right there, so the knot stops right there. 
And for this technique, this is called the whip stitch. When they call it whip stitch, all it does is just whip around. Over. Like so. And here's how it's done. Keep that nice and pretty. Don't get too rough with it. And then you repeat the same process all the way down. So through the hole. Ooh, that's a tough one right there. That's gonna be a good stitch right there though. Push that out a little bit. See, we're starting to get that pucker right there. I'll pull that through. See, it's starting to get that little zigzag, zigzag shape right there. Keep that nice and tight all through the way. And the cool thing about too about these moccasins is you can either leave them plain or you can beat them as well. You can beat them along through here or on the flap around the edges or on it. There are a few examples of seminal moccasins that are beaded with wool on it. One has a zigzag shape pattern, the other has the recurved diamonds. So there's all kinds of possibilities you can do with your moccasins. Get that through there. And also, too, I forgot to mention where you can get this wool at, or not wool, uh, leather. One, you can either make it yourself through brain tanning and smoking it, if you're a hunter. But, if that's not available, you can always go to Tandy Leather or Crazy Crow. They have really good prices at Crazy Crow on leather. There's all different sorts of colors. You get the smoke color, willow, gold, even white. And you can buy a whole hide, and you can make a pair of leggings too. Get that through there.
All right, so now that we have the front part done, you can see where we have our zigzag pattern and we got that poker shape. And now we're gonna move on to the back side. And we're gonna do it the same way. So you just pull that through. Now there are some people that do the whelp stitch, which is the stitch would go through this hole, back through this way and out through that way. I like to do the whip stitch because I like that zigzag pattern. But that is mostly just a preference that I believe. But this one feels more decorative to me. So there are various options how you can do this. Pull that through, pull it tight. Don't want that coming loose. Get that through there. And now you can see too, I did the also design on the back with the sawtooth triangular shaped. And like I said before, you can use this lace or you can also go with the sinew, just more like a thread, a little bit stronger though. And a lace or a sinew would probably go a little bit faster than this lace because it's got more of a stronger end. Pull that. Pull that through. We go. I'm gonna snip that off. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and please just keep this uh, tradition going. My